This is 27-6, slot 25. Uh, the shame on me, King Hothead. Wow, another one of these. It's got that width between the eye and still has that punch down the top line. There's some flair when you get right behind this guy. I mean, truly got some flair and not restrictive in terms of where it's moving and how it's going. And, you know, you look at the markings, you think, well, is that going to work? Yeah, it will. Uh, I think this one doesn't really didn't mess with my eye, and I got to think something's off. It, it, it blends together when that guy kind of gets out here. Uh, it's not one of those what we call ill-marked or any of that kind of thing. No, he's still balanced, proportional. Yes. I mean, just – and, yeah, we talk about those white back legs sometimes, but he is still real stout. I mean, just – Yes, a power hog that still has look and, and you know, looseness and goes. and yes, that, was that's the, that was the crazy one in the crates you looked at after we processed him and said his rear legs were so big. and They are still big now, but I guarantee they're going to continue to come because as when they're little and have that kind of bone on the saddle, they usually really finish like that. And that was the one that really, really stood out when we processed that litter. I can even remember that crate crate uh, room three crate one that litter was in and yeah that litter was extremely good when we processed them 27 so well is, them hotheads were stout oh, back in the day when we rolled them and mm -hmm. and uh we looked on there how many times and saw hothead sows yep. were behind a lot of the winning barrels here at our place they were. Yep. It, it really started really showed up and the grandmother of this one the 124.5 was the stoutest featured uh, hothead this is 27-6, uh, lot 25, shame on me.